fluid terminal positions, ridge tiles, flat roofs, and prohibited zones. Ridge tiles are the terminals which end right on the ridge of a roof. Because they're right at the apex of the roof, they have particular rules about their location and in particular the distance from chimneys and the distance from each other. In this picture, here are two roof tiles, ridge tiles, and as you can see there are minimum distances between them and a 1.5 meter minimum from the chimney. The reason the chimney comes into play is because whatever way the wind's blowing, it will create a different pressure zone within the area of the red clouds. These will have little pressure zones all of their own. And as we learned from the previous video, we need to keep terminals outside of these pressure zones. Ridge terminals, when they're working, let hot gases out from the top of them. And again, if you place them too close together, if you place them nearer than 300 millimeters apart, then the likelihood is that the hot gases will interfere with each other and create another unusual pressure zone within the red circle that I've placed there. Any unusual pressure zone is going to be a problem to the operation of the flue. This is just an exploded view of a ridge terminal just to remind you what it looks like in real life. Flat roofs and obstacles on flat roofs. If you remember again from the first video, the area around the corner of roofs has got quite an unusual pressure zone. In order to avoid placing a terminal inside the pressure zone, then we have rules and regulations regarding flat roofs. As you can see from this picture, the flat roof with no parapet, a parapet is just something that sticks up. If you look at picture B, there's a parapet on that flat roof. So a flat roof with no parapet, as you can see, if we create the pressure zone inside there, which reflects the picture, you can see that both of those terminals are now outside of the particular pressure zone that is caused by a flat roof with no parapet. Now when structures become involved on roofs, and this works whether the wind's blowing right to left or left to right, when the wind blows and there's a structure in the way, then it creates a pressure zone at the back end of the structure. And again, we cannot have terminals ending up within that pressure zone. It's the same for a flat roof with a chimney close to a parapet. When the wind hits the parapet, 
the way that the air behaves means that it creates a pressure zone at the other side of the parapet and if the flue terminal ends up in the parapet or in the pressure zone then the flue will not work correctly so all of these rules about flat roofs are designed to keep the terminals out of the pressure zones that form around a house prohibited zones one of the big problems is when people put extensions onto houses what you end up with this case is two roof problems in very close contact with each other in this case you've got a flat roof problem and you've also got the problem of an angled roof very close to each other if you remember from the pressure zone pictures in video one then you're going to have a pressure zone pattern roughly that shape on the extension and of course you're going to have a pressure zone descending from the roof of the house itself all this means that you will have an unusual pressure zone in that area it's almost like a void it's a it creates its own small pressure problems the Viper explains that in order to avoid that that particular area you simply take a line from the roof to 10 meters away from the house so the measurement a is 10 meters and then you measure 600 millimeters up and you draw an imaginary line up past that if you do that then you're guaranteed to keep your terminals outside of the prohibited zone